to the Wednesday show and our first ever unboxing video. If you are new to the channel, welcome and please subscribe. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. Thank you for joining us. Today, as I said, we're going to do our first unboxing and uh, I've always wanted to have a, a CNC machine but as you know, I don't uh, really like to do things that are extremely expensive or out of the reach of, of most people. So recently I found a CNC machine that it is under $200 and this is this Lynx Sprite CNC machine that also has a laser head. This doesn't have it in the box, you have to buy it separately. But it's really only $30 that make, can really complement your woodworking projects. Hopefully between now and next uh, Sunday I will learn how to use this machine and in the process kind of in, in, integrate it in our Sunday build somehow but let's unbox it first a very standard power supply Maybe some assembly required, I don't know. Okay. Looks like it's pretty nicely packed in there with lots of foam around to protect it. And it's the soft foam, not the styrofoam stuff. So it doesn't make a mess at all. Right. Which I personally appreciate. The first impressions actually are very favorable. The machine seems to be very well built. And again, you can change this head for a laser cutting head. But as I said, it looks to me like it is a, a, a nicely built machine, right? What do you think? Yeah. And again, it, it is not tiny, it is not huge by any means, but you can definitely engrave pieces of wood or pieces of plastic. It, it can engrave uh, soft metals like aluminum and brass. And, and really, even though it is not rated for that, if you put the right cutting heads on it, it can engrave anything. So I'm very, I'm, I'm pretty much looking forward to this, and I guess I don't need to cut this. I mean, even in the rear, it almost looks like there is some expandability because there are connections there. So, you want to take like close ups? If I found where to put the power supply, I will power it up. It's very well made. What do you think? Yeah, it's got a very nice weight to it. It does seem very well made. Uh, everything seems to be connected nicely. The cords are well maintained here. Do you see a place that uh, this can go in? Let's see where the power is. Oh, here is the power. So when you power it up, you have uh, some LEDs that come on up to tell you that the machine is powered up. 
and I believe you do need a computer to to do something with it so we're not going to have first use in this video but hopefully on our Sunday video we will show you how we're using this machine but the purpose of this unboxing is to show you it comes with a USB cable connected to a computer and my understanding is that there is a, a plethora of uh, applications for it of uh, free software to drive this machine and I will give you further information as it goes along again this is the Linkspire, Linkspire Mini CNC machine Link and Sprite Link Sprite sorry yeah Link Sprite so let's see what else is coming with Well, it has some heat sinks, interesting. You want me to take them out? Does it come with instructions? No, that's, uh, yeah, I guess it does. I saw, and there. There we go, that's kind of important. Mm. Tells you what software you're going to need or what you're going to need to do to. Yeah, I'm sure it will tell you. It also gives you the dimensions. Them. No, they're very clear on camera here. So the machine is not huge by any means, but definitely for an entry beginning CNC machine, I think it is just the right size. My, my impressions are very, very favorable at this stage. Do you see where the thing plugs? Oh, I see. Okay. Why don't you record the... Well, I was trying to find something that might tell us. Oh, so here's the page that's going to tell us about getting to the software and how to control the machine. And right here is the computer connection. Okay. It's just a It is a standard USB connector, not a micro, just the, the old style, the big one. But the machine does come with a cable for this, so you don't have to. It doesn't seem you have to purchase anything else to start using the machine. Well, I'm going to spend some time learning how to use this machine, and uh, I'll get back with you again. I'm going to try and work on a project for the weekend that uh, somehow incorporates uh, something uh, of this machine and I hope you're going to tune in on Sunday uh, to watch that so this is our first official unboxing for those of you that follow our channel we are already above 850 subscribers so we are doing uh, very well in our way to a thousand we have less than 150 subscribers to get to a thousand so we're very excited about that I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing video and you will stick around to see our videos that will utilize this nice little machine if you like this video please give us a thumbs up if you didn't I hear a rumor that the other button works as well share make comments and if you have not subscribed again subscribe and we are going to see you on Sunday with another build.